All right, for this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all a couple of clips that me and my friend Mate did together. He had water and I had healing. Uh, he mainly used the new whirlpool move, which was absolutely stupid, dumb, insane to get the enemies grouped together so you could just easily like just farm them in a nice, easy group where you could use your spear move and just destroy their HP in like a matter of seconds. But other than that, that's kind of like the general explanation. If you don't have water, don't worry, this still works. I still do recommend getting spear, at least having uh, this move, swift strike over here. This move is amazing with it. You basically have like an infinite combo if you uh, do three M1s and a right click and then you do swift strike. But other than that, that's kind of like all you really need. Whirlpool is probably the best thing you can bring along to the magic exam. It groups all the enemies up and you're able to just do it like a full M1 combo with the spear and they don't get kicked out. The main strat that me and my friend do is that we take the whirlpool, we gather them all up, and then we 3M1 right click and you switch strike on spear and it just destroys all of them. They're all getting hit and it's basically an infinite combo and it's broken. This can work on Corruptors, it can work on Lieutenant. It's amazing, it can even work on the boss for this. It's an amazing move, you guys should really use it. For the lieutenant, what you want to do is bait him out from the rest of his uh, clover knights, bring him over to the side, to the right, and you can just put him against the wall and keep on M1ing him, or you can use any knockback move and just keep on wailing on him in the corner. It's an amazing thing because he has so much HP and you can just easily get rid of him so you can take care of the rest of the clover knights. The boss is pretty simple to fight. You basically just don't want to attack him whenever there's meteors going off. That also goes with minions as well. So whenever there's meteors, keep on running around. Don't get hit. Just avoid. When all that stuff is done, go back to cheesing. Go back to using the spear, water, whirlpool, anything you have. Just go crazy. And that's basically it.